everybody this is tina welcome to my video today you guys i wanted to show you an album that i'm working on this is a mini album but i'm going to show you two albums but this one i'm going to just show you really quickly this was an album that i worked on in a class that i did um, earlier this year it was my good vibes class loving these moments and we used the good vibes card kit and accessory kit from stampin up and I just thought I would briefly show you. I'm not going to go into too much detail because this was a class that I worked on. The class content is still available. You can purchase the class for $35 and you get um, about 16 videos. And I go through putting each of these together, um, each uh, layout, each day. I do a... Um, a video on how I put the, t the dividers together and all the different things, but I just loved the way that this uh, little mini album came out. It was a week in the life um, album, and I used the craft album from Stampin' Up, and then I covered it, and we did some really fun things, and I really loved the way it came out. So I just thought I would flip through that for you guys, and you could see. And then I also wanted to show you the option of covering a craft album. So this doesn't have um, the two different colors. It is just a craft album. And then I had a video on how to cover this and the front and the back look the same. And, um, I like the way that came out being able to cover it with that 12 by 12 paper. That was the good vibes kit. And then I wanted to show you guys this album right here. It's another one of those six by eight. You can see one of my kids colored on this and I just haven't had a chance to change it. Um, this is my One Little Word album for 2016. One Little Word is a workshop that I'm doing. And this is what I've chosen to, how to put the workshop together with this six by eight album. This was actually a brown. You can kind of tell it's a little bit blackish brown because it was brown. And then what I did is I just took ink, like our ink re-inkers, and I went ahead and I put black over it to make it black. And then this again is some 12 by 12 paper. And it's this gray, it's white, and then it has like gray writing. And then I added some ribbon. And then I cut this out on my Cricut. And I glued a bunch together. I think I glued like six of them together. And then I put it on the front of this album. Then it says One Little Word 2016. So I used the uh, Hello Lovely card kit from Stampin' Up! to put this album together. And I wanted to share with you guys how pretty this has come together like just using the one card kit and using it throughout the album we're in november so we're almost through with the through with the workshop i just have one month left to go so i created some dividers and then most of this paper is from the it's the pink paper in the annual catalog it's pink on one side and then it's black and white on the other side i think it's called pop of pink designer paper and i used that to create these dividers so then I used the Hello Lovely card kit and then the accessories. That's all I've used through here. So you can see the different cards that I've, like this was a four by six card and I stamped on it. This is my word for this year, Thrive. And then this is something that I created using acetate and the stamp that comes in the accessory kit. It is this little stamp and then I embossed with gold on this piece of acetate to make this really pretty um, card that then see, you can see through to the other side. This piece right here is, uh, I, this was the first one I cut and it was clearly too small so I just kept it and I just stuck it in the album. But then all of the stickers that you see, all of the accent pieces came from the accessory kit. So right here, there's some gold letters stickers in the accessory kit that I used. There's these stickers here. This card, I do not think, maybe it was, maybe it was one. I have a couple cards in here that were not from the Hello Lovely um, card kit. And I, I'm not, I think that one might not have been. But you can see that I've just used them. I've used them outside of the pocket. I've used it inside the pocket. This is a sticker. Here's a sticker again. The cards. I used the 4x4 four four cards on the divider a lot. That's one way that I got more use out of my 4x4 four four cards. This is stickers that I stuck onto the photo. Here's 
Here is a wood element, a little wood veneer that's really pretty. That was part of the accessory kit. I love the colors of these cards, the floral. A lot of times I would take my Wink Estella and I would put them over the flowers to give them a little bit of shimmer and shine. Some of the months have more page protectors in them than other months, just depending on uh, what I was doing or what the prompt was for that month. This card and this card were not part of uh, the Hello Kit. So this is some washi tape that comes in the kit uh, that I used. You can see I used it at, on the top there. These were some little gold enamel type dots that I used. So I love the way everything just coordinates, which has made it really nice doing this project. I haven't had to think about from month to month if things coordinated or if they didn't. These are some white stickers that come with the accessory kit. I love that I can just use it every month. I just know I can dive in. Everything's going to match. Everything's going to coordinate. And I actually really like the colors of this Hello Kit. Um, this was stickers. These were also in the... Um, accessory part and then there's some white stickers there. I did lots of journaling for this project and there's lots of just photos of me. It's a um, workshop that you know focuses on I don't want to say self-help but it's like your progress with different things. Here's my word again. Stickers here again. See some of these little stickers. Again, I used washi tape and then this is November and what I'm doing is some thankful thoughts in these boxes. So here's another one of those wood elements, wood veneers that just kind of go right through the pocket so you can see through the pocket. And then some gold enamel dots again. And then this is as far as I've gotten because we're in November. So I just have December to go. And I have a few more pockets that I'll fill in. And then that will be it. So I've really enjoyed using the kit for this. I really love the one little word workshop. I've had a lot of fun with it. And I am picking up a couple more of these Hello Lovely card kits because they're really beautiful and I think they'll be great for spring. I have a couple more projects that I think they'll work for, work really well for. So you can head over to my um, blog, my coordinating blog post by clicking up here or clicking in the YouTube description. I'll have a few photos of different elements of the album. Um, I won't have a lot of photos just because this is a more personal album. So I don't want... Um, to put up a lot of it, a lot of the things that I've I've written have just been more personal and more journaling um, for me. But I will put up a few elements for you guys to check out if you want to see an up close um, these this project a little bit more. Up close. Show you my album for this next year. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I keep all my supplies organized um, for projects like this. This is not a project that I really share throughout the year on my website. If you guys are interested, I can think about maybe doing that more this next year. Um, I didn't know if it would really be of interest to anybody because it's more of a personal kind of album. It's, there's not always a lot to it. So I just took one of Stampin' Up's six by eight albums. I love these. This is the early espresso. So it has the early espresso on the side. The album that I showed you for last year was an early espresso, but I just took our black ink and I made this black. I would really love it if Stampin' Up did these in black and that that I cannot, I can neither confirm nor deny that that may be something that's happening in the future. Um, I love these albums and I love that they have this little bit of color on the end because you can do so many different things with it. So I took some designer paper from a couple years ago. This is actually some paper that one of my downline, Roberta, she had sent me because I'm doing a wedding album for a friend and I used this paper. I ran out and I said, hey, does anybody have any of this? And she sent it to me and I snagged a sheet actually too to cover this album from that wedding project that I'm doing because I thought it was perfect. So I just 
covered my album, you can see, in that designer paper. And then I put some of this retired ribbon on here. This is such pretty ribbon, I wish it wouldn't have retired. And then I have my word on here. This is an acrylic piece and it came in a kit that I got several months ago and it just so happened that my word for this next year is believe. So right under this word, um, what I did is I embossed this with early espresso embossing powder um, and it held up, it's done pretty good. I have a feeling that as time goes on, it's going to get maybe scratched or some of the embossing powder may come off. Great thing about embossing powder is I can just remelt it and I could even add more if I wanted to. There's two coats on here. So if I wanted to just remelt it and press it out a little bit more, I could probably do that. Right under believe, it's going to say be brave and keep going. And then I've already pre-filled my album with pages and then I created dividers. So, and then I've done a little bit of work for my album. This is a quote. And then I have two, uh, these are metal letters that I've had for years and years and years and I'm super happy to be using them. When I put the ribbon on, I did not make sure everything was flat when I was tying it. So then I tied it and I used adhesive to put it down. And when I opened it, I realized it was folded. So I just put those metal letters, it's my initials, right over that folded part to just kind of make it seem like it's supposed to be that way. I have a quote here. I'm probably going to do a few things here. I have a small page protector and a tab here. I have another quote and I've used a heart and an arrow die right there. And then I created the dividers just out of cardstock and designer paper and then I punched holes in them and I put packing tape um, just to make sure that those you know are more sturdy. Um, these dividers you can see make the album really full. I mean there's not even any photos or anything in here yet and it's pretty thick. Um, my last year's ended up being pretty thick, but it, I mean, I thought, I felt like it worked so that I felt like these dividers would be fine. I may do two albums for this year um, if this starts to get full because I really love this project. One Little Word is a scrapbooking project created by Allie Edwards where you pick one word for your year. It's like a New Year's resolution. You pick one word for the year and then she has a workshop and every month you have a little thing that you focus on and she has like a little lesson type thing that you focus on for that month and then uh, to live your word out. So I signed up for the workshop and there was uh, some digital elements. So I've printed those out and I've kind of got started already. Um, I'll do some more work next month during the actual uh, when we're actually doing it in the workshop but I've just gotten prepared so I have some space here. So I just created these dividers and then my page protectors are already in. I'm not sure each month what I'll be using so I'll switch things around depending on whatever the um, you know assignment, the, the mini assignment is, whatever I need to do I'll switch things around. Um, but I really love doing this this project, this one little word. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's not a lot of work. It's usually 10 or 15 minutes to do the actual work in my album. And then all month long, I'm just focusing on whatever the prompt is for that month to make my word more visible or more, um, you know, come alive more in my life. So I have this black box. You can see it says one little word here. This is the kind of box that I keep all of my Project Life core kits in. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. Um, I love these boxes. I get them from Ikea. They're like $4.99. When you open them up, they come with dividers. So I have three core kits in one box, or sometimes I have more depending on if it's just a small core kit or if I've used it. I'll link up here my Project Life uh, core kit organization. Um, I'll do that, but I wanted to show you what I have this year um, that I'm using. So what I found last year is I used a Project Life by Stampin' Up! kit, which was super nice to have some cards and things that all matched that I could pull from. So this year, what I did is I got a core kit from Becky Higgins. This is the Everyday Core Kit. So it's a lot of black 
and white and some gold. There's some of this red, um, like this darker red, um, and some pinks in here. And I thought that that would work really well. So I have the core kit here. I have them organized. Here's all my black and white cards. And then these should be some, my red cards are down here and the gold or gold ones and tan ones are here. And then my four by six cards are here. So I just have the tray that the core kit came in. I just stuck that in here so that everything could be here. And then um, these were also cards from the kit. I loved these number one through five, I thought would come in handy. And then I have some pro product from Allie Edwards um, that I may be using. Um, just some things that I've gotten in other kits. I have some silver brads. Um, this was from the Believe Kit. They're little rubber, like, um, flags. And then I have some acrylic stars in here. So I have some embellishments. This was from the actual workshop. It was a digital element, so I have that. I have some stars and chipboard and some different cards. This says Believe. Again, all of this is from Allie Edwards. Um, and then I have some stamps and stuff from her. This is an actual stamp set from the workshop. This is a stamp set from a story kit that it says Believe, um, which just worked out that that ended up being my word for this year. This was the stamp set for last year. And then I purchased some stickers uh, from her one little work her one little word workshop there's these and then there was this little uh bundle of stickers she'll be using this in the workshop so i'm sure i will use it much the way she uses it as she does her prompts each month a couple other cards that are just from that kit and then i have some of the paper that i'm using that matches the front of my album. This is my favorite color ever from Stampin' Up. It was called, um, it's called Poppy Parade, and it was an in color a few years ago. And then I have the leftover pieces from when I created my dividers, and it's just, I have it on the black and white side. There's, it came from the pop of pink designer paper, but I love the black and white side of that. So I have some quotes and stuff that I've written down um, that I knew I would use when we got started. Some basic black paper. This is just some stickers. I don't know if I'll use them or not. And then this is also from the Everyday Collection with Becky Higgins. I just got it on clearance. And I just thought I would pick it up since it matches the core kit. I may use it. Um, I may not. I don't know. And then there's some basic black uh, cardstock in here for me to punch out, use punches with, or something, you know, like that. So I just wanted to share with you how I organize my supplies and how my album looks. I'll take some photos, and it'll be on my coordinating blog post. You can click down in the YouTube description, and you can see photos of my album and how I've started to put it together. And then let me know if you want me to share it throughout the year, and um, that could be something that I might possibly do. The back of it looks the same. There's just no ribbon. It's just that designer paper. So thanks guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will catch you later.